What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I'm Chris, that's Mike, and we're going into the Badlands. Dragonflies last day. Yeah, episode seven. We're we're still in season three. Guys, this was uh this was another good episode. We got a lot of good stuff in this episode. Uh Mike, what did you think of this episode before we get into anything? You know, you know me, and if you watch the channel, you know that I love Mike, the Mike, I do know you. You do know me for I quite a while, I might quite say. Quite a while, yeah. But no, in all honesty, it's the character stuff, the character development, the world, uh, how 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 large it's 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 expanded it's in the last big, season. Yeah, man. You know, I, I'm super super interested in the in the Black Lotus, the men in red and black, and just um, when when Sunny approaches the River King and talks about you know where did this boat come from kind of thing, and Sunny has that vision of where he saw you know the engraving, and he knows that he he made. He's like, a I did that. Yeah, so just getting more and more information has been has been totally totally rad. So I mean, you want to talk about them? I posed a little a few questions about them in the fight scene with Sonny with the ladder, which that was, was some was that was sick. some sick ladder work. I'm gonna I, I mentioned much this better, much better than the fish that we got last week. I, I like I, I thought the fish was it. fun. I thought it was apropos to his fighting style. But the ladder work, I will say this: I'm a huge fan of Jackie Chan. I've said it before on this on this show. And uh, that was very reminiscent of, I, I cannot remember the movie for the life of me. I should have looked it up. I'm sorry, Jackie Chan. But uh, I love I love ladder work, man. I think ladder mm-hmm. using a ladder to fight is amazing. Uh, yeah. And Daniel Wu just knocked that shit out the park, literally. Like, that yeah, was awesome. No. That was so fun. It was so fun. I love that stuff. It's so good. I love prop fights, man. I love seeing that shit. Yeah, we get a lot of that. We get yeah, a lot of that. So and- good. Yeah, what I, what I'm posing is 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 that exactly is that Sonny was able to fight off number one three of these men these black lotus the men in red and black and all this mm-hmm. kind of stuff. So where you know where are they from? Where did they, where do these guys come from? That's what I enjoy so much is we we're getting so much of this. Who yeah. are these people? Where did pilgrims come from? How and right on the know, heels of the... finding out that he's from somewhere else too. That's the thing. Exactly. It's are not. It's not seven. Ezra? It's not are like they... six episodes later or next season that we get. We yeah. oh, remember that time we said that he was on a boat and he was being taken away somewhere mm-hmm. to a new land, and now yeah. like the next season we oh this is a guy from that place. No, this is this is like a couple episodes later. Some dudes yeah. show up. But here's the interesting thing, Mikey. Mm. They don't know. Unless the River King told them, but I don't think he did because what I mean to say is they don't know that this guy was a regent. They don't know that this guy is a badass. They don't know that. I mean, they how would said they know? The they only reason went they, after him already. The only, said. yeah, the only way they would know that is if the River King specifically told them to write that in a letter, which yeah. he didn't. All he said was, "Let our friends know that we found who they're looking for," or, mm-hmm. or, or something to that effect, right? Yeah. So, yeah, well, these guys never quit. They say they say that guys, these guys yeah. will not stop until they they go after you. But that's the big thing is obviously Sonny was able to take them out with relative ease. They don't have the gift. We don't see these guys. So where you know where do they come from? Are they, are they like the foot soldiers from Ninja Turtles? Where let's just throw out a bunch of these guys, and they might not necessarily be the toughest or the most skilled or the most gifted or anything like that. So I'm just it just gave me a lot of those those ideas and those questions in my head about where exactly are they from? Well, Why are they still hunting after now they know it's Sonny, uh, this specific person. And you know, where are they, where are they from? Are they from, you know, this they're from, kingdom? They're that, from, yeah. They're, they're you from, know what I mean? I think they're from the place where Sonny was taken away from. Well, and obviously, right. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, you know, I'll pose this to you. What, what is that place? What? Well, I don't, well, that, that we can't answer, but, <laughs> That's the, <laughs> they have really cool um, uh, work attire, I'll tell you that much. So they have really cool oh. uniforms. But what if it's something to the effect that the reason they want Sonny back, either he's a long lost you know, son of somebody and that's what they're doing, but then why mm-hmm. would they attack him? Yeah. Or, or, yeah, I was going to say maybe he has something locked away inside him. Maybe he has some knowledge or something. Or maybe he's the, he, maybe he's the heir to something. That's, and that's what yeah I it's mean. it's it's what is it what it's game of thrones right it's we we always said that this is this is a um you know uh a game of thrones-esque show and and i'm not trying to put this show down at all because that's a compliment you know because game of thrones you know absolutely you know fantastic show yeah 
you know, filled with with twists and turns and stuff. And and so what if this was like, you know, oh, hey, we have to go, you know, just like, you know, just like in those in those shows, like got to kill this guy before he finds out who he really is, because we find out he has a sister. Yeah, which is really cool. We even saw a glimpse of her in that ledger after the whole River King is Correct. is is piked. And you know what I mean? Can so we get into that for a second, man, real quick. Yeah, I love yeah. I loved when he when he when he gouged him the, the previous episode last time. Mm-hmm. And I love that he just killed him. I love that yeah, this uh, man yeah. is like he's changing in a way to, to he wants to save his son, but he's not. But he's not going to sacrifice who he is. Like he's mm-hmm. he's look he's a killer, but he's killing yeah. people who are in his way, and I love it. I hate when like characters just I'm not going to kill him. I'll leave him alive, and then like on the next season he comes back to mess the mess with something. Like now, nah, done. You're done. Bye yeah. bye. You know. Well, what we I mean? know what we know what he wants. We know from know last season with the visions of Vale and and Henry, older Henry, and all hey. this kind of stuff. So we know a little Henry. We we know what Sonny wants, and he doesn't necessarily want to do this, but he'll uh, kill. But he'll do anything he has to now, do. He's just right like, dude, now. no, I'm not. No, you you yeah. pose a threat. To, I love it. I love oh, that. Of course. Direction. I'm so of happy. Course. I'm so happy that they're making him. You know. You know. Be like that. It's great. Yeah, so it gives us, so, you know, just gives us more and more character stuff and new new characters that are so exciting to see, and, and the world sister, is just well. That's what I'm saying. So we find that he has huge. a sister. There's been a there's been talking in 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 the chat in our videos about yeah. who his sister is, and you know, um, I, I'm not I'm not going to speculate. Although I will say I don't think it's the widow. No. And who was the other one? I think there was another one. They said. Yeah, I can't. Remember. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't remember anybody no else call. necessarily. But, right. yeah, I, it's it's definitely not the widow, considering we did see the picture. Um, but I don't know. The point well, is, I mean, the question is, is she still alive? Is she out there? The captain says he mentions to Sunny oh, that man, she was the one that yeah, kind of like saved yeah, your yeah. life. Kind oh, of oh, deal. the master. They were saying it's yeah. the master, but that that didn't look like the master though. This is the master from the from with the you know with the abbots, right? We're talking about where MK was. Is that the master they're talking about? That's the only master we know. She looked way too young. She did look way too young. For, you, you're talking the one that locked the gift away in the first place? No. The one that was on the boat? No. The master that I believe, I believe the people in the comments, our viewers are saying that it's the master from, I assume from the you know last season with, with MK, who was teaching MK. Oh, okay. I don't think that's the case. What I do think is that, yeah, they're after him because he's like an heir or something, and they want to kill him or or whatever. And then his sister, his sister's alive, dude. Of course, his sister's going to be alive. It, it's- and does she have the gift? If she's able to protect Sonny, and she's listen from the from the image that we see, it doesn't look like she would be much older than him. So for her to protect him, she must. That I mean, was it right? Yeah. Did she it? sacrifice herself, or you know, and she really yeah. is dead, or um, she must have? Did she fight off? You know some of the some of the the, the black lotus to to save Sonny to give him an extra shot or an extra second of uh, you know survivals. Listen, these are questions that um, that'll be answered eventually. We'll get answers. We definitely to... will, which is which is great. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I, I, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued and I'm happy about that. Um, yeah. I did want to mention to you though, mm-hmm. uh, your 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 girl Ren, your one legged friend Ren. Yeah, I guess my theory was a little off, but a little but, off, but uh, she's you useful, know, I guess. She, she comes left. back for this for this stupid coup mm-hmm. from these these you know these these things. So so a couple things with that. All right, mm-hmm. all right. I just man, I don't know. It, it was it was cool. You know, I was like Lydia, let it happen. Lydia Lydia is like obviously we know Lydia is not you know c- completely team uh, you know butterfly. We get that, but. She lets them come in. She's like, let me see where this plays out. She breaks out. She's whatever. What I thought was hilarious is that when she hooks up with Moon, she immediately tries to convert him to her cause. In yeah. the cause of, why don't we just let, why don't we just yeah, let maybe this we play can out? Still, yeah, yeah. You know? And he's like, yeah. stop. Stop what you're doing right there. For a second. Yeah. I don't yeah. think, you know, obviously she tried it because of their past and that's, it's, they have this rapport. So, but no, I mean. You know, it's it's cool. It's cool when we get to see the characters' true motivations. You know, as opposed to everyone else. But hey, man, listen. You know, real some really cool stuff. You got guys getting shot, and that man can take a beating. That's for sure. You know, and they break little, out. Obviously, little, uh, 
<laughs> little possible romance uh, brewing between uh, Gaius and the widow, I think. Yeah. Uh, we oh yeah. Of... Well, you know, it always, it always was. So, you yeah. know, it's, um, I, I, I enjoy that. And it's, you know, uh, it's interesting to see where that'll, where that'll go. Will um, it change her? You know, will, will, if, you know, if anything, as far as a relationship with him happens, will that change the way she rules? Or if the war is still going on in there together, will that change her, her plan to end it or will she make this um you know will she have like an have this armistice that everybody that ren wants and and red pleads for at the end you know what so i mean it's, here's the thing you're, right, so you're posing you're saying will gaius change it because there's a couple of there's a couple of aspects much different and they gave us that well right they gave us the difference uh specifically when they were younger between chow and and gaius and we saw the, the difference. So they gave us that for a reason. So maybe she'll kind of, he'll be that person to kind of mellow her out a bit. Well, yeah. also, well, here's the thing. I, I see, I see again, game of Thrones reference. I see Gaius as a Dario, as a Dario, Dario. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like this, 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 uh, her, this protector slash, you know, lover slash, I mean, they're, they're not there yet in the show, but I, I see, him as that character again if you don't watch game of thrones sorry it's just uh you know um the dragon queen has this has this man who's who's a, a fierce warrior who you know who's also her lover but he doesn't he doesn't change her you know and i don't think I, you gotta I remember yeah. you gotta I remember compare the two yeah. well, you wouldn't i wouldn't compare i just mean the situation in fact it, it, i understand what you're saying but i, I just the comparison of, of rem- daenerys and well remember Widow when two remember, different kind of when when she gives back when she gives uh um uh what's his name back she you know uh caster pilgrim says you know you know you know you know bend your knee basically and she's like i i'll never i'll never kneel to any man again you know what i mean like so having you know her having said that to me makes it seem like a a man won't change her you know yeah but at the same, but then the other the other aspect is you know Ren says you know just be the be the you know the leader that we want you to be yeah just end this war and that might be something that might be something that that causes a change um but at the end of the day I think I think no I think she's just gonna she's gonna do what she thinks is right and and I think she just wants to wipe out you know Baron Chow and just be done with it you know obviously I, I. I, as of right now, I agree with you. I agree that there's only in one Baron. Uh, there's only enough room for one. And let's see. I mean, I definitely think that they put that <laughs> yeah. Gaius in there. I think that 100 percent there's going to be like this love interest thing. So for for me to to believe that, I think I can look back at the episodes and see why they put a scene of this and why they put a vulnerability of young Gaius and and. Um, how she took care of him when he was wounded in this episode with the arrow and and that kind of a thing. Um, He even almost like sacrificed himself when he grabbed, you know, when he grabbed, um, I forgot that other guy's name that initially shot him when he went for the crossbow. Oh, that kid. Yeah. And those kind of things. So he's willing to like almost fight for her. You well, he's got he, this. Yeah, he's he's got. It's like it's almost like a puppy dog thing where he's. Yeah, exactly. You know, but and and what's interesting is that it, it's believable to this point because we saw how he was, and they've given us plenty without beating it over our head. I mean, yes, they started yeah. talking about the blade again and stuff, and they're trying to build this little thing. And and, and I don't mean that derogatorily. I don't mean like oh they're trying but they're failing. But I mean they they're 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 building this small little thing, and and I I dig it, man. I like it. I dig it. I you know I think it's a different because look. It's a different direction for all of the characters. All of them. Yeah. Tilda, Moon, the Widow, Sonny, even Beji, which I want to talk about in a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of that love stuff going on. Not even e- even with Lydia and Moon, they have that past right. that relationship. So it's it's I'm it's not gonna good. sit here it's- and say that there's all gonna be hearts and rainbows between everybody, but they're they're putting Baji and, and Lily together. Um or having moments. Yeah. Let's well, yeah. There's all these these. Tender, I like it. It makes moments. It, yeah, and it makes it brings because there's a lot of death. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of gore. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of, yeah. you know, 
backstabbing, but they're making it a little, they're bringing it, they bring it back in those, in those moments to show that these yeah. are humans. These are people. And yeah. I like it. I think they're doing a great job. I just, yep. I, before we get to the end, I just want to, I, I, I'm not a fan of the fact that Lily sold out the boys and yet they're, and yet they're still like, he's still like smitten with her. Like I get it. I guess I, I guess I just answered my own question. Maybe he's, he's still I mean, smitten with smitten with her. So the fact that, she sold them out doesn't mean anything to him. But to me, it's like, but this 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 woman sold you out. Like, I don't like it. I mean, I, you know, again, you're not going to like every decision that characters yeah. make. You know what I mean? So well, I'm just like, oh, I wish that wasn't a thing. Like, I wish yeah. I, if I, I'd be like, you know, like, screw you. You sold me out. Like, why would I? I don't want you to help me. Like, we'll find someone else. But well, we saw we saw the kind of person Baji was right from the beginning of the series with with him kind of dining out Sonny when they were both trapped. So I mean, it's, yeah. So, that's what so I'm saying. It's Baji, I think Baji's, right. Baji's very easy to forgive and forget. Plus, he was a thing. pirate with her, and he was even mad. And, I get it, but and I know. think Sonny knows that he needs he needs he her needs it. I guess I get, but I now mean, he but listen, weird. he's killed the River King, man. He could probably take whatever he wants. Well, she even says it because at the end she's, she's uh, new, yeah. I'll be the, I can be the river queen because she doesn't necessarily say that she'll bring him, bring them exactly to Pilgrim that she'll, yeah, right, true. I guess, leave him off somewhere uh, where they can finish the, the rest of the quest. Uh, I mean, listen, it's a little, it's a little, uh, it's a little um, fun with um, the male and female part of this, of the characters and you're getting a little love from Baji and you're getting a little love with the That's widow. That's what I'm saying. He's a little... So you that's know, all I think that is, but yeah, they're, they're, we'll they're showing a different side. Yeah, we'll see if if anything will come out of of these uh, hints. You know, uh, so you know, last but certainly not least, yeah, you, know, you have the the death. You know, the 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 burial of Caster, and mm -hmm. you know, Nyx at this point, she's she doesn't yeah. trust Pilgrim, and that's not that's not going to bode well for Pilgrim. We've, mm -hmm. I've, I know I've been touting that MK, you know, w you know, is going to team up with Nyx against Pilgrim. I think MK is impressionable to the point where Nyx is going to be like, I need you to, yeah. you know, he, it's listen, I mean, he, he says, listen, I can teach you how to control your power so you don't have to cut yourself. Yeah. What if he teaches her, right? She's like, teach me then. So, and then, she, and then they, and then, but I want you to help me, you know, take down pilgrim you know like i think that's coming i mean i think that's coming listen we, we were talking before about we're seeing an, another side of a violent side of pilgrim we're seeing him grabbing cressida back-to-back episodes by the throat and even that scene with nix which was a little it almost looked like uh she was like sexually like assaulted or something almost so just like yeah, it was uncomfortable i'm not, I'm it not uncomfortable. saying it yeah. looked like that would be from a scene where a, a, a dirty old man yeah, is trying to solicit adult, exactly. a young girl. Right. And I'm yeah. not saying that that's happening by far, but I think, um, but, it, but the, I think that was the connotation the, where it was intimidation. It was, I'm by violence, not by sexual, something sexual. almost, almost, almost like a pimp. Like it was like a scene of a, of a pimp and his call girl, you know, like that's just like, and you're right. I got the same vibes from that. And well, do you think, do you think that that, and again, I'm not saying a sexual thing, but do you think he had, he had beaten her in the past? They're they're giving us, you know, why else would she um, react so, so do you mean, emotional? Are, are you saying it's dip, so like he treated Caster differently than her? Not necessarily. Uh, listen, he could have whooped the shit out of Caster and Nix. I'm thinking like that alcoholic father, or up until mm. last episode with the first. Uh, when he first put his hands on Cressida, yeah, now, he's a real, so he, yeah, they're he's giving us real. they're giving us that for a reason, right? Yeah. And now for her to for Nix to have shown us so much emotion and so much um, uh, just fear when when Cass, uh, when Pilgrim was touching her, it kind of gave me that idea that maybe he's done uh, you know this in the past that he's might have used a violent I mean, tactic. Maybe. You yeah, know, I mean, I, I definitely think there's something there. I think there might be something to yeah. what you're saying. I think it might be, yeah, I think it might be something to the effect that, you know, it may not be exactly that, but obviously, you know, you know, and, and again, this might be something we find out later on be, and, and which fuels Nick's being like, you know, trying to get MK to help her. You know? I can see that. I yeah. can see, 
I can see that. Listen, the show is very good at giving us hints uh, for the future um, with these potential relationships and mm-hmm. with um, with this now, with this Pilgrim and the Cressida contact and, and, and with Nyx. You know, for her to question him is was very ballsy, too. So that could kind of put a damper on my idea or my theory that maybe he's hit her in the past. Because if he had been hitting her or beating her or treating mis- mistreating her, would she be so bold to question his... But you know what, though? Uh, the thing is, yeah, I mean, she, but she, with she, does have, death. she does have balls, though, man. She's a killer. You know what I'm saying? She So she, I, I won't, obviously I don't put that past her, you know, even though... Well, he do you can... think that she feels that she can beat him? No, I don't think so. I think he... he how do you how do you defeat someone that has the power to stop you, dead in your tracks? You know yeah, what I mean? Like good, that's good point. that's good like point. that's he's whatever you know. That's why, and that yeah. might be a factor. They might, who knows? They might enlist Sonny or someone else. You know, to, it's gonna. To all I know is it's gonna be f- super super badass because um, I did watch a bit of the the. What did we call the coming attraction for the next episode? And we obviously see that at some point, Sonny and MK are um, they get into it. So, listen, when, when, when that gift unlocks and they're giving us more and more every episode now since we got this idea and, and how special Sonny is, that it's just going to be that one thing that happens and it's going to go off. Um, do you think being around, <laughs> let me ask you this, do you think being around all this Azra stuff and being in being next to Pilgrim and MK now that he has this power is his mm-hmm. power is growing and being around it. Do you think that that's going to trigger something being around all this stuff that he's basically from? I think, you know, I think, it, I think it, it definitely won't, you know, can't hurt. Listen, Sonny's been, Sonny's been around the gift before, you know what I mean? And it's never brought back a memory. It's only until Ankara, Unlocked this, something. She opened the window, topic. basically. I wouldn't say a so, door yet, but like she just yeah, opened so the drapes or something of a window. Let's see. I mean, if he's if he's around more and more of this energy and this gift and these you know these gifts and things, then maybe it will stir something up. Um, will he? Will he be in a real vulnerable situation? MK has the upper hand or something like that. And don't forget, and Pilgrim it, can it, control it, it, it have, still. So, That's true. Maybe he sees MK. Maybe Pilgrim sees MK about to kill Sonny, and Pilgrim's the one that opens it. You know what I mean? We're bringing. Oh, I never in- thought of that. Does, can can Pilgrim unlock the gift? That's right. If he's so powerful to to possibly heal Henry, why can't he? You know, if he oh, can stop maybe. the gift, he can stop Caster from having the 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 gift. If, if he, he can, can turn it off, can he turn it on? Yeah. So I, I, I'm excited to see that kind of stuff. And you guys let us know what you think about that, because the more me and Chris talk about this, we always more and more ideas and theories kind of pop up. Right, so you guys yeah. let us know how, you know, how will Sonny, and we did the video on it. So check that video out also. But um, as we get closer to it, just, just write in those comments, because it's going to be, it's going to be something, something serious that I think we're going to be excited to see. But one thing that I want to ask you um, before we start finishing up, but, um will is is MK's vision true or is there a corruption something with the gift that's inside him listen it's already happened once before oh uh, we're going back there um yeah i mean it's 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 a big thing i mean it's and, and upcoming it's going to be it's going to be soon that we're going to find out uh how true it is i think what, did what you, we? You, I'm trying to think of the coming attractions. Did we hear anything that that Sunny? I don't said? remember hearing anything, but it's not. Did it's it? not. You know, I'm. Just, it's just something that I've, that I'm. Um, I thought about to. W- remember, he he saw himself initially. That was that was that was his vision, his gift, or whatever I, that is. I the thing is the thing is when when he had that vision and saw it was Sunny, he wasn't. Hold on, let me think. He would just OD'd. He was trying, right? But his dark self was trying to save him this time. We think, do we? I mean, that's, well, yeah. <laughs> that's, well, no, because he, he he was doing the opposite of what he'd done the previous time when they fought. So I'm trying to think. Did he was he the one that said, "Look, look at the truth," and, and it saw Sunny? It was yeah. I can't I can't tell you exactly what was said, but it was something along those lines. Yeah, you know. 
So is it, is it, is it, is it? Okay, maybe, maybe, listen, maybe there's, maybe there's a bigger connection to Sonny and MK than we know, than we know. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. Is, is he the, his sister's kid? Oh, snap. <laughs> that is a thing. That might be a thing. Hold on. No, because then he killed his sister. But he might not. He may not have. He may not have killed her. It might be wrong. Okay. 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 All right. And maybe that'll be the that, truth. That maybe is, his mother is still alive, and we find her because she's Sonny's sister. But didn't he know that she's dead though? If that, or if 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 MK's mom is through Sonny's vision, sister through the vision, he said he. But he saw her die though. He said. No, no, no. I don't mean I don't mean the sunny thing. I mean previous. Mm. Everyone on the boat is dead, remember? Was his mom on that boat? Like I don't remember now, but was his mom on that boat? I, I don't th I don't think his mother was on the boat cuz the mother would have died if in that tent, in that um well well she did though. That was the thing. Oh, she did die actually. Oh, no, no. MK's He's... mother died in the in the in the in raid the on the village. Yeah. So Maybe question is, it's did Sonny do it? Is it his mom? Yeah. Is it wrong? But she's still dead, so somebody killed her. I don't Maybe know. She's not. Maybe right, she's look, not. Now we're getting in, we're getting into some real theory territory, which we're gonna save for another video. Yeah. Or seven. We'll see. Uh yeah. so look, so yeah, good good stuff. I think we should just end it there. Uh I I wanna thank everybody for for watching and Absolutely. commenting and you know, uh getting to us on, on the social medias. Uh, yeah. We really appreciate it. Um, I love seeing you guys, you know, talk to each other in, in the in the in the comments below, and that's awesome. I just want to thank you guys for being respectful to each other and to us, Absolutely. and I love it. Uh, we're you know we're getting we're getting a lot more views on these videos, which is fantastic. So if you're sharing them, thank you. If you're not, please do. And um, you know, go go and you know you know get on Instagram and go check out Daniel Wu and sherman and and all of them because you know uh they're really cool and you know they're really into their show and they're really into their fans and they're it's just fun to see that it's, it's really cool to have that interaction with them so get on there and, and at them and you know say hi and, and, and what's up and follow them and uh as far as in, instagram and stuff is concerned mike what do we well, got? third person pod, of course. Write those comments and everything below in the YouTube. Also, check us out on Facebook. Again, I want to say happy birthday to Chris. It was actually yesterday, but we got a, uh, some yeah. got a lot of love. Thank uh, you very we, much. Appreciate we that. stopped. We stopped counting after like twenty one years old or something, right, Chris? Yeah. Twenty five is when twenty five <laughs> is when it's the thing started getting a little rough for me. Yeah, but it's cool. We got some. We got some cool love. We got some love from Daniel Wu and from Sherm Gus for wishing Chris a happy birthday. So that's really cool. Yeah. Um, thank you guys. But appreciate of course, that. yeah. Check us out. Uh, leave the comments below. We love getting them, and like Chris said, we love the interaction between the viewers themselves and everybody that watches us on uh, on youtube and check us out on itunes as well you can have a listen or watch us there as well you can take us anywhere you go yes sir we're portable yeah. and if there's anything i've learned in my old age it's you want to be portable <laughs> everything is portable nowadays. everything is portable anyway that's it guys thank you so much finale coming up next week what's going to happen probably something amazing and fun and awesome and we're going to talk about it so that's it so until the next episode we'll see you later